We are in the fourth module of our class, Has Religion Made Us Stupid? And we are going to be speaking about the corporate mentality. And I believe that it's imperative for us to look at how corporations think and how they operate. Because if we look at the superpower that is on the earth today, we can't say that it's the United States. We can't say that it's China. We can't say that it's a religion. But what is really moving the world today are the different corporations that are present. I mean, there are corporations today that have more money than entire countries. They're in more places. They've crossed every border. They've won people from every nation, tribe, and tongue. They, there's corporations that are expanding at such a rate right now. I mean, that they are literally all over the world. I mean, if you look at companies like Facebook, Google. I mean, the different type of corporations that are growing and the speed at which they're growing at, it should make us in the church look at them and say, how did these guys in just a few years manage to cross all these borders, be in all these languages, have employees speaking all these different languages, and yet they manage something solid? Now, as a church, Jesus gave us a mandate. He said, go into all the world and make disciples of all nations. In other words, he gave the church the mentality to go out and expand. At the time that Jesus said this to his disciples, he says, I will build my church. Jesus, when he used the word church, he wasn't using an Old Testament term. He was using a Roman term. The word church was a word that the Romans used. The Romans, when they would conquer an area, they would send a group of people in that area to impose Roman culture and Roman thinking in that area and bring that area to become subject to Roman government. That group of people that was sent, they were called ecclesia, they were called church. If Jesus wasn't afraid to use Roman government words to explain his intent of how he wanted to expand the kingdom of God, I don't think that it's me and you today that can look at the rapid expansion of how corporations are moving, how they're accomplishing things in short periods of time and say to ourselves, you know what? No, no, we don't want to be a corporation. Yeah, you're, you, it's true. We don't want to be a corporation. but We definitely do need to look at how they operate because they're more effective than us. They're more productive than us. They move a lot faster than us. They get more things accomplished than us, and yet we have the Holy Spirit? The problem is our mentality. The problem is the way that we're operating. We're going to look into how corporations work, and we're going to see that if we can in, 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 implement a corporate mindset into the way we operate our lives as believers, I believe that we're going to see great advancements in our personal lives and in the kingdom of God. So uh, in the next segments, I'm going to be speaking on working with deadlines, which is definitely corporate thinking. And we're going to see how biblical this is.